you call the vote your proudest achievement. Mm -hmm. Why is that? Well, because um, it, it's all new technology. And all of the other cars that I've done that I've been proud of have been basically variations of normal cars. Maybe more power or more speed or better style. This is all new technology. This is something that nobody has ever done before and that many of our competitors said wouldn't wouldn't be wouldn't be possible and GM will never do it. Well, and, and you've said the Volt will, I think you said, poke a finger in the eye of, of naysayers, the naysayers, right? That's right, yeah, and there were many, there were many. If you think back to 2007, um, at, at least one of our large Japanese competitors said lithium ion wouldn't work and uh, many, many environmentalists said that we were pulling the wool over people's eyes, we would never build the car, it was just a PR exercise and so forth and so on. And now... Well, was it, it a PR actually, exercise? It does well, give you it, that it, halo it has, effect it's certainly, of being green. And you're, you're absolutely right. It does have, I think, transformational value in the sense of opening people's eyes to General Motors green technology. So, yeah, it, it did that too. Bottom line, uh, this is the beginning of a new technology for GM, but there are a lot of obstacles still, a lot of things well, to... Well, not, not for this, I think. No? That, no, because... Uh, our 40 mile range is pretty sure. Now on a very cold day with the heater on, it might go down to 32 miles, but it doesn't matter because mm -hmm. you've always got that backup gasoline generator. You never get stuck by the side of the road hoping somebody will come along with a five gallon can of electricity. When you're <laughs> That's true. <laughs> this is first generation technology. It's all very expensive. The batteries are still very expensive. The all of the control technology for the interplay between uh, the gasoline engine and the, and the battery pack, uh, all of that is still very, very, very expensive in this early stage. We're not, we're not going to make a lot of money on this car, if any at all. I was just going to ask, is GM yeah. going to make money on the first generation Volt? I don't, I don't think so, no. It's, so so it's why a, it's do it? Why do it? Because you're, this company is still billions of dollars in the hole to U.S. Well, taxpayers. So. Happily, happily, we're making a lot of money on a lot of our other vehicles, and I, I, I think financially we're going to be all right. This you have to see as a commitment to the future to demonstrate General Motors' commitment to environmental technologies, our capability of executing those technologies, and basically of doing uh, the first generation of a vehicle that we think every automobile company in the world will have on the road in five or six years' time. So I just want to talk to you about the state of GM. We talked about this mm -hmm. a few months ago at the Detroit sure. Auto mm -hmm. Show, and you said, we are doing better, we will pay back the U.S. taxpayer yeah plus interest. Is, yeah. that, is GM still on track to do Absolutely. that? Absolutely. Um, in fact, if you look at the so-called viability plan number four, that is the basis of how the government measures our performance, uh, we're well ahead of that in all respects. Uh, cash flow, reduction of losses, possible transition to profitability, um, sales, acceptance of new products, and so forth. So we're 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 happy. We need more capacity, on, uh, and we've announced a lot of capacity increases for some of our the hottest selling of our new products. So does that mean no more major layoffs or plant closings that you foresee? Well, you know, you can never, who's got a crystal ball that's perfect enough? If the economy continues to recover as it appears to be gradually recovering now, I would say the jobs are safe. And in fact, recently, as we've been putting on extra shifts or uh, have decided to um, uh, uh, expand capacity at our Oshawa plant in Canada uh, mm -hmm. to build Equinoxes, which are just sold out. We're actually adding employment right now. That's something that many people didn't expect uh, just six no, months we, ago. No, we year didn't ago. either. And in fact, you know, it looks like now when. When you look back, um, we wish we had some of that capacity now that, that mm. we eliminated.